a regular falsy method. So before going to that, here we have a result. If uh, if f of x is a continuous function, continuous function, function. If a and b are real number, are real number, and if a and b are real number, numbers. Such that, such that, f of a into f of b. That means either f of a positive, a f of b negative, or f of a negative, or f of b positive. f of a into f of b less than zero. Then there exists at least, at least one root, one root in the interval a b. In the interval a b or in between a and b. A, b. In the interval a b. So this is a result. So if a and b uh, f of x is a continuous function, then if we get two points a and b such that f of a into f of b less than zero, then there is a root in between a and b. Now I will uh, define. Suppose we have to approximate the value of uh, root of a function. So suppose our function is so this is our okay. so this is our function y equal to f of x. Now if we get two values. Suppose a is here, and this is f of a. So this point is a f of a, and here f of a is positive, right? And I'm I'm getting one point b here. This is b f of b, and here f of b is negative. So we get two uh, points a and b such that f of a into f of b is negative. So there is a root in between a and b. So this is our required root. Now what we have to find out this, uh, we want to find out this required, uh, approximated value for this required root. So first we will make, uh, take an approximation. Okay. So, so I am joining. These two points by a code. These two points by a code. And, and I'm calling this as my first initial approximation x naught. This is x naught. In order to get this uh, x naught, so we have a uh, root in between a and b. Yes. So in order to get x naught, we have the values a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. So if uh, here root is in between a and b. Then we get the first approximation a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. Now uh, what we will do is we will join this and this is f of x naught x naught f of x naught then then we will join this and this code. So now this intersection point is x1. So if uh, so this is x1. Now if if 
we got f of x naught and we will find what is f of x naught. And if f of x naught into f of a is less than 0, then, then root lies between, between a, b, and we have x naught here. If f of a into f of b, x naught is less than 0, therefore root lies between x naught. Or otherwise, x naught into f of uh, f of x naught into f of b less than zero, then root is lies between. Then we will take this second first second approximation x one is root lies between x naught sorry a x naught. Then a into f of x naught similar procedure minus x naught into f of a divided by f of x naught minus f of a divided by f of x naught minus f of a. Now if root uh, if root lies between x naught and b uh, there are many possibilities. There may have another possibilities. Okay. So if uh, root lies between x naught and b, then uh, similar procedure we will a x naught into x naught into x one will be equal to x naught into f of b minus b into f of x naught divided by f of b minus f of x. Okay. So a b and we we get first approximation x naught and if x naught is lies between this then x2 is here now you find out what is f of sorry f of x1 f of x1 and check whether root lies between between If here a a and x one or or x uh, x not x not x one x not or x one x not. So if root lies between a and x one, then x two is equal to a into f of x one minus x1 into f of a divided by f of x1 minus f of a and this process continues and okay you get a good approximation for x1. so why this process continues because then again if i am taking this point f of x1 then again i am taking the Code, then I will get another approximation and uh, we are continuing like this we will get a best approximation for the root and now we will do a problem first one find the root of the equation find the, the root of the equation, equation x log to the base 10 x minus 1.2 is equal to u 0 using regular falsy method regular falsy method it is correct up to correct up to Five decimal places. So you, you can use calculator for the calculations. So here given 
f of x is equal to x log to the base 10 x minus 1.2 is equal to 0 but this is f of x now i have to find out uh, two values a b where f of a into f of b less than 0 that means product is less than 0 or one is positive and the other one is so i am taking f of 1 that is 1 log to the base 1 minus 1.2 this minus 1.2 this is less than 0 so similarly we get a value less than 0 2 2 into log to the base 2 minus 1.2 this is equal to minus 0 0.6 again less than 0 now i am taking a four four f of 3 3 into log to the base 10 3 minus 1.2 is equal to 0 0.23 this is greater than 0 so here f of 2 is less than 0 and f of 3 is greater than 0 therefore their product is less than 0 thus this the root lies between between the interval 2, 3. So 2 and 3 is there. Now, uh, first we will get the first approximation x0 is raised to 2 into f of 3 minus 3 into f of 2 divided by f of 3 minus f of 2. So that is equal to 2 into f of 3 taking 0 0.23 minus 3 into f of 2 minus 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.23 minus minus 0 0.6 which is equal to to calculate that from the calculated 2.722892 now we get x naught x naught is equal to this value now we will find what is f of x naught that is f of 2.72289 so this I will put uh, this value here in this equation and while I am uh, putting that value I will get minus 0 0.0155 which is less than 0 so the root uh, lies between so this is 2.722892 so this is less than 0 and f of 3 is positive so the root lies between the root the root lies between between 2.722892 and 3 and 3 that is in the interval 2.722892 so we will find x1 equal to first 2 point this into 2.722892 into f of 3 minus 3 into f of 2.722892 divided by f of 3 minus f of 2.722890 is equal to 
2.722892 into f of 3 is 0 0.23 minus 3 into f of this of this value is minus 0 0.0155 divided by 0 0.23 minus minus 0 0.0115 155. So the answer is 2.740388. So here how many decimal places are the same? One. One decimal. Up to one decimal place it is same. We have to find the values correct up to five decimal. So then f of x1 f of 2.74 0, 0388 is equal to if I substitute this value I will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is again less than 0 so the root lies between 3 and this value point 0.4 and Again, we will find x2, this is equal to this into 2.740388 into f of 3, f of 3 is 0 0.23 minus 3 into f of this, f of this is 0 point minus 0 0.00023 divided by of 3, 2.3 minus 0 0.0023. So this value is 2.740647. So now it is correct up to 3 decimal places. We will um, we will move to we want to get it the character so f of x2 i will find f of 2.740647 is equal to by calculator we will get minus 0 0.000 0007 is still less than 0 therefore root lies between 2.740647 and 3 so next we will find x3 so for x3 this into 2.740647 into f of 3 0 0.23 minus 3 into f of this that is this value minus 0 0.000007 divided by f of 3 minus f of uh, this value So this quantity is 2.740647. So now it is correct up to 10 no, to 5 decimal places. Now it is correct up to 5 or 6 decimal places. So we can stop. So now both are uh, correct up to these decimal places. So this the required root is root is 2.74065 so correct up to 5 decimal I am rounding here 4 and here 7 therefore I am rounding to 5